Nicene Creed. I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. That line from the Sermon on the Mount is the basis of this day. Blessed are those who mourn, who still on this earth await the coming resurrection, the coming bringing up of the dead to meet Christ Jesus with their own eyes. I do believe, as you believe, that the Holy Christian Church is made up of one body, yet they are separated into two areas. We have the church militant who, fought, who are in the fight, and then we have the church triumphant who in heaven believe and commune with us here at Augustana at the rail. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Those who mourn are certainly poor in spirit, meek, hungry for righteousness, hungry for mercy, for mercy, pure in heart, and they are peacekeepers. But here's the reality. We all wait for our loved ones who have died in the faith. So, we look forward to the resurrection of the flesh. And we who are left will be caught up in the air with Christ Jesus. This truth is meant to be a comfort. The reality that we confess and believe that when Jesus Christ comes back, He will raise the dead gives me one thing that I hope and pray for. And I believe with all of my heart the dead who are in our cemetery and the dead who are elsewhere, they await too. They await the resurrection of the flesh. They are eager to be resurrected as well as we are. Now, make no mistake, they are in heaven. They are awaiting nothing. They have the true feast on Jesus Christ our Lord. And we wait. We who are militant, wait. When you look at our paintings in the back, we have one that is the church militant, and in the other, we have the church triumphant. Christ Jesus, who comes to pull out the casket. Church triumphant. That's the very image of Jesus Christ and the church triumphant. He digs with His hands into the dirt and into the mud and He pulls us out by the coffin. And in there, we see Christ pry open the coffin and say, Stand, you poor in spirit. Mourn no more, blessed one. For you were meek, but now you shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For I have come. And in my coming, you have mercy. For I am poor in heart. I'm pure in heart. And I am the great peacemaker. And then on the other side, we have the prodigal son who comes and walks to the father as the father runs to him. And there we find our true prayer. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. For we are low and merciful. We need you. 
And Christ Jesus answers, Wait. Wait. I shall come. But wait. Pray. Love Christ. Love your neighbor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.